Hello everybody, here we are again. And the video today is to talk about the P-chart. It's a chart that is very used when we are analyzing some uh, attribute uh, response variable. So I have here to perform this chart a, a very simple data table but with some important information. Because we have our Y, our response variable, we are talking about a specific defect that we are inspecting, that we are trying to understand in our process. We have uh, an amount of parts or products that we inspected during some specific situation in our process. For example, different assembly lines, different shifts, and different days. So the idea uh, about this chart is to understand if our process is stable or not when we are analyzing the proportion of these specific def defects that we are having in the amount of products that were inspected. So the place where to do this is inside of the analyze quality and process P chart. So what is the secret here? We have to put our response variable here, the defective uh, response variable, the column, and I have to put something here, the end trials. The end trials is the amount of products that were inspected. So I have this column here, 40 parts were inspected and we have we had some parts of them uh, some of those products had this specific defect so when i click on ok i have this p chart the mean all the statistical uh, uh, information about the chart we have here so it's very simple to run, it's very simple to perform, but sometimes not so simple to understand uh, the trends or the special calls or the common calls of variation. And, but that's it. The, the second part uh, about this video that I would like to share with you is that uh, when we are running this chart, we can have the the size the subgroup size varying during our data collection for example if i if i could not collect uh, the same amount the same quantity of products to to be inspected and for example some day some very specific shift in that assembly line that day i didn't have 40 parts i i had 34 here I, I had uh, 57, uh, 62, uh, 39, so my chart will be changed and it will be changed because the end trials uh, are changed. Uh, so we have some different upper control limit here because it it's it's being calculated uh, considering the the subgroup size okay so this is very important is is possible to analyze so for you that is not having the the con a constant subgroup size you 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 can analyze the the chart uh, with unconstant subgroup size Another thing that I can do here, as we did in the IMR, IMR chart and X bar chart, is to put something in the phase situation. So, end trials here. If I want to know uh, this, this information uh, with, in different shifts, I can use the phase uh, option in our platform to put a phase here in our chart uh, splitting this into two shifts okay 
So the same thing uh, you can do with the buy uh, option in the platform. And that's it, p-chart proportion of some specific defect in our uh, population inspected. So I hope I could uh, help you again and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.